Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Comic Conversation. We're still on Christmas break, can you believe it? But we're, we're here to create the best content for you. So we're gonna be talking about our, our, our most favorite underrated characters today, someone that doesn't get a whole lot of limelight. I'm joined, joined here by Ashley. Ashley, how you doing? Hi again, I haven't changed my clothes for a week whenever this video comes out. And John. Hey everybody. So let's talk about it. Ashley, yep. you first. Who, right, who's your most great. underrated let's character? Let's get started with Raven, please. Most underrated, and she's so powerful. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking Raven from Teen Titans. I don't want just Raven herself, just Raven from Teen Titans. She's super awesome. In the TV show series, the, the new one, she's kind of a little bit more nicer than what she usually is, but she still kind of has like that dark era. And then we're talking about the original Teen Titans TV show that came out, and also Teen Titans, the comic book. She's super mm -hmm. awesome. But I feel like she doesn't get a lot of credit. She's super powerful. Let's not forget that her father is the demon of all demons, yeah. like Trigon is yeah. just intense and she has enough willpower to be like, you know, I'm not going to be like you. Mm -hmm. And she uses her powers for good, yeah. or at least she tries. And yeah. it's things like that, that she's gotten the Teen Titans out of so much trouble that it doesn't make much sense to me why she's underrated. Yeah. yeah, for me, I think part of it is, it seems like they only ever give her one storyline. Because recently, if you guys saw um, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, the new animated movie that mm -hmm. came out, it's really good. Um, basically, Raven's whole thing in that is the again the Trigon thing. He's coming back. Uh, he's her. She's his daughter, and he wants to use her to stop him. And in Teen Titans, that was the plot line. So really, anything I've ever seen Raven in, she just kind of gets one big plot line, and they keep reusing it. So I think that's part of why they aren't really giving her credit. They aren't writing new stuff for her. Yeah. I wish they would though, just mm. because she she's a pretty complex character. You know what I mean? And she has a lot of windows that they can use, and I feel as though they just don't. And plus, she kind of goes against like a lot of the norms. I don't know, like. If you guys have ever mm -hmm. like had this topic or conversation yeah. with somebody, but a lot of women in like comics are kind of over sexualized. Mm -hmm. Not Raven though. Yeah. She has a cloak for God's sakes. Like she yeah. she's completely covered, and I think that's another reason why she doesn't get much credit because she doesn't really show her beauty a lot yeah. of the time. Mm -hmm. She's kind of just used like for the sense of, well, Raven, you kind of gotta stop your crazy dad from killing us. Yeah, she's and, very like, she's a very downplayed character. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think that she should be just because. There was a point in time where she literally went like in time and stopped all the Teen Titans. Yeah. You know, like she mm -hmm. told them about their futures mm -hmm. and then ended up having to save the day. Yeah. And then that was the only big thing she done. Yeah. So I thought I just think that she's really underrated, but she's an awesome character mm -hmm. and she has like this like <laughs> she's like emo phase, mm -hmm. but she's not really because she just yeah. she's pretty lighthearted if you really get to know her. So I think Raven most mm -hmm. underrated. So. John, what about you? Uh, personally, my mo the person who I think the most underrated character is, and also my favorite character is Wildcat. Oh, okay. Um, for those of you who don't know, Wildcat yeah. he was briefly on Arrow, which was not a great version of the character. Yeah. But I digress. Mm -hmm. uh, Wildcat is Ted Grant. He was the world uh, heavyweight boxing champion. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just one day after one of his matches, mm -hmm. uh, he saw uh, another fellow who was boxers being mugged behind the stadium, and he just punched the mugger, and he beat him up. And he's like, wow, I kind of like this. I want to be a superhero. Mm -hmm. So he did. Uh, and that's just sort of his whole origin story. Basically, he just wears a big, um, basically long cat suit with a little cat face and paws on his hands, mm -hmm. um, and he just boxes criminals. He, he fights them really well. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, he was in the, originally in the JSA, so he's kind of an older member. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of heroics anymore, mm -hmm. but he trained uh, Batman in a lot of yeah. boxing stuff. He trained Black Canary. So he's more of just kind of like an advisor member, uh, and he's sort of just giving people advice and kind of an old mentor. Uh, All right. So yeah, personally, he's just one of my favorite characters. I think he's really underrated because mm -hmm. he's never in a lot of stuff, partly because he doesn't have powers and there isn't a whole lot he can do, yeah. but I think he adds a lot to the story, uh, both as a physical member and just sort of emotionally. Yeah. I, I agree with both of you. Uh, Raven has a comic out currently. I forget what it's called. It's a mini series, but just so you know. And Wildcat, God, member, founding member of the JSA. Yeah. Wonderful, just wonderful character. Definitely I love one of the classics. Um, my character that I'm going to choose uh, is I think Kyle Rayner. Kyle Rayner, the the mm. Green Lantern. I feel like I feel like he's just yeah. underutilized a lot, a little bit too much. And I feel that like is he. A good one. Uh, thank you. Uh, we we used him in comic conversation earlier in the semester. Yeah, but, yeah, in one of the fights. Uh, yeah. In one of the fights. Um, but I just feel like as far as stories are concerned, there's not a whole lot of just Kyle stories. I know he was a member of the JLA back in the day, mm -hmm. but um, I just feel I feel like he's he's the most relatable of the Green Lanterns, mm -hmm. and I feel like he can he can really uh, show stuff if he was used a little like kind of similar to Raven, like really used more. And I know he. He was the White Lantern at some point or whatever. Yeah, but recently I'm he had the big storyline where they brought all the lanterns together yeah. and like he had one of each of the rings. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, but he doesn't get a lot of credit. He's definitely, I think, one of the lesser known Green Lanterns. That's for sure. Probably just like between him and Guy Gardner. Yeah, that's for sure. But Kyle Rayner's my trick. What, my chick. Pick. What do you, who's your most underrated character of all time? Please let us know in the comments down below. That's Ashley. That's John. I'm me. Please have a wonderful day. I had a different pick in my head and then forgot.